Good morning, everybody. It is, uh, what day is it? It's Mobility Monday today. It's Mobility Monday on the 14th of December. I hope you are okay. My name is Karen. I'm here with Get Moving. And as always, Get Moving is here to help people with mobility issues to get some exercise. So uh, exercise is good for us. I hope you know that already. If you don't, well, you should. I'm here to tell you it is. Um, and uh, Get Moving can help people with mobility issues to get plenty of exercise, plenty of frequent, regular exercise. Um, so mobility issues, if you have a disability of some kind, maybe, or if you have a chronic medical condition, uh, some reason like that that could stop you from moving as well as you'd hope, get moving can still help you to get moving, as the name suggests, and uh, to get fitter, to get stronger, move better. Every weekday, 11 o'clock in the morning, you'll find us here, or you'll find us on the website up there, reesefitness.co.uk slash get moving. You'll find all about us there and including all the previous old workouts, uh, catch up service. So if you can't make it 11 o'clock in the morning, don't worry, go there, follow along like a boss. Hopefully you have your little blue ball. Well, I say blue, it's my blue ball. Hopefully you have your ball of whatever color. It doesn't really matter what color it is. Uh, have that with you because we're going to be using that for the exercise of the day. Um, Mondays, Mobility Mondays, it's all about just getting moving. Uh, it's a nice, simple session. Um, so if you're new, Mondays is the best time to, to, to join in because it's a nice, simple uh, one today. Basic, fundamental movements. Nothing fancy, nothing mystical. We're not going to show you any secrets from the far-flung East or anything like that because that's all rubbish anyway. Good, simple movements that you do regularly are fantastic for you. So, um, enough witching there. Let's get started, shall we? Oh, last thing I'll say before we do start. These exercises are suitable for pretty much everybody. Whether you are seated, whether you are standing, you can do them pretty much all. And there's a couple of uh, um, uh, alterations, amendments uh, for, for seated, but these exercises are suitable for pretty much everybody. So what have you got to lose? Give it a go. Let's get started. So, won't need the ball just yet. I've got my timer, it's set for 20 seconds. So nice and simple, we're gonna do 20 seconds of all the exercises. Uh, let you know what's going on, give you time to practice, give you a chance to give it a go, and let us know how things go with you, okay? So, first exercise, if you are seated, marching on the spot, so I want you sat tall. Common mistake with people who are seated is to slouch back, slump back into the seat, rest against the backrest. I don't want you to do that. Sit as tall as you can, pretend there's no backrest behind you, and sit upright, okay? Just gonna march on the spot. So if you're seated, just get your legs up like so, marching on the spot. Knees up, one by one, dead simple. Standing version is the same thing. Marching on the spot like so. Small moves are easier, big moves are harder. But you do whatever you can do for 20 seconds, okay? Are you ready? I hope you are, because we're gonna go in three, two, one, Away we go, marching on the spot. So dead simple, just walking away. Pretty much anyone can do it. And I want you to give it the best shot that you can. Marching, getting your arms moving as well if you can. Just getting the body moving. Dead simple, but very effective. And that is our 20 seconds. It is as simple as that. No reason why we all can't do that. Next exercise, we've moved the legs a little bit, now it's the upper half, shoulder rolls. Whether you're seated or standing, it's the same thing. Roll your shoulders back like so, but if you can, we're gonna make it a bit bigger by rolling your elbows back as well, and if we can, rolling our arms back as well. Big moves are good moves. Do them as big as you personally can do. Whether it's both arms, whether it's one arm, or whether it's one arm and one shoulder, I don't mind, you do whatever version you can do for 20 seconds. Three, two, one. Off we go. Shoulder rolls, if we can, arm rolls, and if we can, get them super high, right back and down. Getting the shoulders and the shoulder blades moving as much as possible. The bigger the move, the better. Reaching up, reaching back, reaching down. And that's it, simple as that. That's our time, that's 20 seconds. Moving on to knee bends. If you are seated, sitting tall again, don't forget that bit, kicking your feet out like so, bending and straightening the knees, getting as much movement out of the knee joints as you can. If you're standing, bending them back, kicking your heels back towards your bum. But again, guess what? 
knee bend, getting movement out of those joints. In three, two, one, go. Kicking the feet back or kicking the feet out, depending on whether you are seated or standing or not, but getting the knees moving. Small moves are easier. Bigger moves are harder. You do whichever version you can do. But get them moving. There we go, that's the 20 seconds again. Simple as, time, time, time. So, Twisted Sarahs. And I know you know why this is called Twisted Sarahs, because Sarahs are obviously the twisted of the people. Among all people, Sarahs are the most twisted. Seated or standing, fold your arms and twist one way and then twist the other way. Big moves if you can. Three, two, one, off you go. One shoulder comes forwards, then the other shoulder comes forwards. You get the idea. Moving your spine, moving your back, keeping it mobile, not letting it just seize up or become stiff or stuck. We keep it moving as much as we can. There we go. Simple as, 20 seconds done. Uh, what's next? The exercise of the week. Grab your ball. Okay, this can be done standing or seated. Personally, I prefer seated, but you can do whichever one you want. You're going to need your ball. You're going to need a wall or another person. doesn't really matter which. Your choice. If you're unsure about this exercise, have a look back at last Technique Tuesday because I go over it there. We'll do one side for 20 seconds and then the other side. So just to remind you, got your ball. We're going to twist our body, pretend we're playing rugby, and pass the ball sideways, pass it to the person or bounce it off the wall and back. So I'm twisting my body, twist, recover, twist, recover. Three, two, one, off we go. Twisting, get the body around, not just staying put and flinging with your arms. I want your body to move. Twist sideways, twist and twist. You get the idea? Nice big move. Bouncing or passing to your partner. And that's our time. So we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So either get your person to run around the other side or you chuck against the other wall or, if you're like me, you turn around and you'll be passing to the other side against the same wall or the same person. 20 seconds again. Excuse me, I'm turning my back on you, but you get the idea. In three, two, one, off we go. Twisting, sideways and recover. Twist and recover. Move that body. Think of your shoulders, think of your nipples turning around. Well, it's not actually your nipples turning around, it's your body, but your nipples are pointing in the other direction. You get the idea? I mean, if you can turn your nipples around, that's a good trick. I want you to video it and send it in in the comments below, okay? If you can, if you can turn your nipples, well done you. But you get the idea. Anyway, put that away now for the moment. I'll just shut up and move on. I think that's the best thing for me to do. Double taps. If you are seated, sit tall, knee comes up twice and the same on the other side, twice and the other side, a double tap. This one really comes in handy if you are standing. It's a balanced one. Stand next to a wall or table or chair or something if you have to, because the knee comes up twice. One, two, and then you land. One, two, and then land, okay? Give you your best shot. Three, two, one. Oh, where we go. Double tap, and the same on the other side. A double tap, and again. Don't forget, easier version is down here, a small move. Harder version is up here, a bigger move. You do whichever version you can do successfully, okay? And there we go, that's our 20 seconds, that is our time. What's next? Side bend, bendianas, and again, we all know why these are called bendy Annas. If you know an Anna, she's bendy. It's true. True story. I know an Anna. Bendy as Mr. Fantastic from Fantastic Four. I swear to God. You could bend her in half like that and she'll just bend. Like rubber. Isn't that true, Anna? Isn't that true, Bendy Anna? So one arm goes down. If you can, other arm comes up over the top. 
and then recover. Same other side. One arm goes down if you can. Other arm comes up over the top and you bend side to side to side. Okay, 20 seconds worth. Three, two, one. Away we go. So if you can, reaching over. Again, we're bending, we're moving, we're mobilizing the spine. We're not letting it just seize up, get stiff, get stuck in one place. We want to help it move as much as it is happy to move. And that is as simple as that. There's our time. That's our bendianas done. Squats and sit stands. Probably one of the most important exercises we can do. A simple, a basic, and incredibly important one. It's a fundamental one that we can be, we want to be as good at this as we possibly can. We don't have to be perfect, but we want to be as good as we can be. If you are seated, tuck your feet back underneath you, get the feet underneath you, get your body weight forward. We want our body weight over our feet. Never going to work with our feet out there, ever. Here, we've got a good chance. So using our legs, strong leg muscles, Build them as much as you can. Push down, stand up, under control, you sit back down and repeat. We just practice sitting and standing. The more we do something, the better we get at it. This is our chance to practice it. Practice makes perfect. Use it or lose it. If we're standing, same idea, but without a chair. Squats, sitting down and standing up as best as you personally can do. Three, two, one, away we go. Sitting back and down, strong legs, stand us back up again. Again, the whole point of this is simply practice. Practice does make perfect, and if we don't do it, we will lose it. This is just a chance for us to keep our legs as strong as possible, working as well as possible. And there we go, time, time, time. Tight ropes and ankles. So if you're seated, we wanna get as much of your body moving as possible. We've done most of the big joints already, upper, lower, middle, all that kind of stuff. Now ankles. Make sure the ankles and the feet can move as much as possible. Dead simple. Heel, touch the floor. Point your foot, get the toes to touch the floor. And heels and toes, heels, toes. Nice, big movement out of that joint. Of course, what you do on one side, make sure you do the same on the other side. I'll tell you when there's a halfway turnaround point. If you are standing though, we're gonna work on balance. So that's tightrope walking. So make sure you've got a nice big space in front of you. Imaginary, uh, imaginary tightrope line painted on the floor there. We're going to walk along that line, keeping our balance as we go. So, if you're standing with me, walking forwards, off you go. Heel, toe, heel, toe, walking along that imaginary line on the floor, keeping our balance, letting our arms stick out, let them move, let them sway, let your body move, you wobble as much as you want. When I've gone forward as far as I can, like now, we're going to do the same thing, moving backwards. Toes, heels, toes, heels. Again, staying on that imaginary tightrope line on the floor. Let your body, let your arms move. Now, as always, if you can go faster or slower than me, you don't have to match me step for step. Okay, go forwards, same thing again. Off we go, round two. Trick is that you do whatever you can do. If you're better than me, fantastic. If you're not as good as me, doesn't matter. I don't care. All we're gonna do is be as good as we personally can be. So give it a shot. And if we practice it, we will improve. Last time now, going backwards, toes, heels, toes, heels. Balancing away, letting our arms help sway, move them around. If we find ourselves topping one way all the time, stick the arms out the other way. If we find ourselves topping the other way, stick our arms out the other way. Get the idea? We use our arms to help counterbalance. Really useful when you're running outside on slopes. Top tip, I, I taught someone that over the weekend. Yeah, they learned a lot. And there we go, that's our time. 
And our oh, last couple of exercises now. So we're nearly at the end now. Dead simple. I'm just going to change my timer. I'm going to change it down to 10 seconds, okay? There we go. Awesome. So we're set for 10 seconds now. So fast feet. If you are seated, I want you to get your feet moving as quick as you personally can move them, okay? So if you're seated, running on the spot, fast feet. You're just drumming your feet on the spot, nice and quick, like so, okay? Quickness. It's only a small move, but it's a very quick move. If you're standing, it's the same thing, but we're standing, we're running on the spot. Small foot movements, but fast. So we're just running on the spot, like so. Nice and quick. It's only for 10 seconds. Well, we're going to be two rounds of 10 seconds. Are you ready for round one? In three, two, one. Off we go. Fast feet. Keep your feet moving. Nice and quick. Running up and down on the spot. Whether you are seated or standing. Boom. There we go. That's our time. Now, shake your legs off a little bit. Make sure the blood's flowing okay. Make sure everything is working all right, because we're going to do the same thing for round two any second now. Nice, quick, small, quick foot movements, okay? Are you ready? In three, two, one, off we go. Nice, quick feet, running up and down on the spot. Move them as quick as you personally can do. go. <sighs> there we go. Time, time, time. Okay, last bit now. I'm going to change my timer again, shifting back up to 20 seconds. Our last bit, last exercise, shadow boxing. Whether you're seated or standing, it makes no difference, it's the same thing. Whole point of this is to get out of breath now. So fists up, hands up, you're going to shadow box, punch high, punching low, hooking around, uppercuts, move your arms, twist your body. Get out of breath, okay? It's the last one exercise we're going to do. Make it good. Get stuck in. We're going to do three rounds of 20 seconds each. So are you ready, boys and girls? Seated or standing, I don't care. Fists up, shadow boxing in three, two, one. Off we go. Shadow boxing. Moving your arms. Breathing nicely. Get some air in and out of your lungs. You do whatever you can do. One-armed, two-armed, standing or sitting. Doesn't matter which. Time, time, time. That is round one done. So, like I said, even if you're seated, you can do this. So, round two, I'm going to do seated. In three, two, one. Off we go. Shadow boxing again, punching, punching, getting your breathing going, heart and lungs, getting out of breath is good. We're going to twist and turn, jabbing, punching, hooking, uppercuts, punching away for time. There we go. That's round two done. We've got one round left. So this is it. Get stuck in, get as out of breath as you can, and then we're done, okay? Last round, in three, two, one, off we go again. Punchy, punchy time. High, low, hooks. I hope you're as out of breath as what I am, or even more so, I hope, because being out of breath is a good thing. Twist and turn your body. Use your legs if you are standing. But, there we go. Time, time, time. That is it. I hope you can still hear me. It's pouring with rain out there. And I'm not sure if the rain on the metal door is over, overwhelming my lovely voice or not. Hope you can hear me. But that is it. That is time. That is our Mobility Monday workout. Finished. Completed. I told you at the start. Dead simple. But very effective. Now, if there's any of you have any questions about anything that we've just done now questions about the exercises themselves why we do them how we do them how to uh, adjust them how to amend them for your personal limitations if you've got any questions at all 
down in the comments down there just right away and then we will answer them as best as we can um if we know well nine times out of ten we know the answer we're pretty good at our job so ask questions down there and we'll if we know the answer we'll answer straight away if we don't know the answer we will go away find out the answer and come back to you so one way or the other you'll get your answers you get your questions answered but we are here to help you let me rephrase that we're here to help you help yourself okay that's one of the most important things i think about get moving is we're in this together we're going to help each other but we are doing this ourselves i am doing my best to keep myself fit and healthy you by just doing this right now you have proven that you are doing what you can to keep yourself fit and healthy we're not relying on somebody else we're doing this ourselves because we can we're getting help from each other we're uh, encouraging each other but we are independent we can do this and that is one of the things i love about get moving i'll be honest with you i'm biased but there we go i'm allowed to be anyway that is mobility monday don't forget the whole point of mobility on monday is to get moving as as often as we can so your homework for monday as always is between now and the time that you go to bed tonight i want you every hour do between two and five minutes of some kind of exercise or activity you choose what i don't care you you can fill in the details but as long as you do it regularly every hour between now and your bedtime do between two and five minutes of some kind of exercise or activity let us know how you get on in the comments below and everything and we're going to help each other out we'll see you tomorrow technique tuesday is tomorrow we'll go through a new exercise of the week um, and hopefully it will stop raining by then and my garage won't have flooded but we'll see fingers crossed thank you very much boys and girls well done everybody um, i enjoy what i do i hope you do too i'll see you tomorrow bye bye